do you believe that artists, rappers, musicians, when they have something like a Donald Trump or something like a LA riots or some sort of social injustice flashpoint to react to, that it drives up the creativity and um, the timelessness of art or, or as opposed to when things are going well and the art suffers, do you believe? What do you believe that? I do. Nelson, you want you was about to you want, okay. I, I was gonna say I was gonna say is that every historical epoch where there's conflict, uh, it does help certain artists. Some people can be explicitly political, yeah. but for others it brings them into an internal journey. That could also be just as powerful. So I think it I mean I put it one of the best periods of hip hop was the crack era, which was a terrible time in this country and under Reagan. And, and all that stuff, and some great art came out of that. Yeah. I don't necessarily think we needed to have the terrible stuff to happen, but often artists respond with some of their best work because it touches their friends and their community in a, in a way that's inspiring. And anger, as much as love, inspires art. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I also believe that, like, artists, you know, when, when, we, when we have something that we're passionate about, we speak up. It's it's a it's a it's a truth that comes out at that time, but you have to be passionate about it. The reason I mean I, I think this this era we're in now is can be just as tough as the, as the Reagan era in many instances. But the artist is speaking up. Th they they feel it. They kn they feel it and they feel it in their spirits. And I think one thing that we had in hip hop that you had from that '80s era is a lot of people were kind of educated politically to a certain degree, like socially and politically, so they knew what to talk about. Like, I was learning about things from Chuck D and from KRS-One and Rakim. I learned things from them, but they had something to say. They knew what was going on. And I don't know if it was age or, or whatever the case, but they knew, and um, I think even in this crucial era, I think the music can be more powerful or the art will be more powerful if the people are passionate about it and they really do care. Uh, one more, I think, over this side. Is it my phone? Okay, here we go. Um, last question for you. As a creator, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, pitch to you a lot of different projects and ideas, but how do you decide on which projects you take on or roles you take on versus the one that you're like, eh, I'll pass on that one? I really, um, I really try to choose things that, like, when I'm reading it, I'm like, I want to keep reading it. And I'm like, ah, this is dope. Like, anything that... When I read something, I, I want it to be like, damn, I wish I could write this, or I wish I would have wrote this, or this is a, a great character for me to play, or, and this story is, is dope, and it feels fresh, and, and um, I can do something with it as an actor, like take it somewhere. That's, those are the things that I really look at, and it starts, honestly, with a title. T to me, I like, I like titles. Like when I go to a bookstore, I look at the titles, and, and that can interest me in a book. So when I start reading the first page of a script, I could tell if the writer is really like a, a really fresh writer.